hello my lovely people welcome back to my channel i greet you according to your time and the time you are seeing this video we are still on the gist from the palace of oni of ife i thank you for always being part of this channel my god will bless you for your support thank you so much please if you are yet to subscribe go ahead and subscribe if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much my people know allegedly we heard that uh, the Oloris are now running Helter Skelter. They are now running from pillar to pole, my people. When I not say, now them be the reason why they said Queen Naomi left the palace. They were the ones who contributed in one way or the other to frustrate Queen Naomi out of her husband's house. And ever since Oni of Ife have been making effort to bring Queen Naomi back to the palace, they are not in any way helping out they are not even contributing that is simply because they don't want her to come back to that palace all i will hear them say is that uh, only should leave with nomi that with nomi is not interested with nomi is not this is not that that he should know that he's a king a king and as a king he's not supposed to be going after a woman who said that he don't want the marriage again and all of that my people on several locations, we, if we've heard a situation where they said uh, Mariam fought Oni of Ife simply because he went after Queen Naomi. The last time they said she, uh, Oni went to Akure and had a delicious meal and sleep and all of that, the moment he returns back to the palace, they said Mariam blasted him, gave him mass bows. Why would he even do that, my people? That is to tell you that she never liked Queen Naomi and she don't want her back to that palace. And she have played a lot of roles to uh, which contributed to Queen Naomi leaving that palace. Not just her anyways, but why it looks as if her own is so, uh, so obvious is because of the... She's always out, you know. She's always taking action concerning that. Uh, even when she's claiming that uh, she's not the only one in it, that most of the time that only of her sisters and uh, some of the Oloris, they are the ones that are uh, planning it. And after planning, when it comes to taking action, they will go and hide. And she, the boss lady, she will come out and take action. That is why you see everybody calling her, blaming her for Queen Naomi's uh, uh, leaving the palace and all of that. So my people, they say this time around, after all the efforts that only of her have made to see that uh, her wife, uh, sorry, his wife and the, the son comes back to the palace through the help of this Dr. Elizabeth. Dr. Elizabeth is a good person, whether you like it or not. Yes, for those of you that are saying eh, she's doing it for her selfish interest and all of that, let Mariam seek for peace for, his own, for her own uh, selfish interest and let all of them, including Ashley, Ron Kete, Mitchell, and Toby, let all of them seek for peace for their selfish interest, we will accept it. Yes, it's acceptable. How can you say that a woman who is finding, helping uh, her husband to bring peace and love back to the palace is doing it for her selfish interest? Of course, everyone, I, those of you that are saying this, I wonder if where you are living is not comfortable, you will be there for your own selfish, selfish interest. Won't you find a way to bring peace to where you are living so that you live peacefully? If you're a violent person, I don't think Dr. Elizabeth is that type of a person. So she, she have helped Oni of Ife to uh, make it possible for Queen Naomi to talk to Oni and for them to have a decent uh, discussion as husband and wife, something that have never happened for quite a long time now. So they said this time around, Oni have made up his mind that he is going to clear that palace. He, he started it by saying that... Uh, the Oloris must relocate to the Oloris quarter. That if not, they should leave the palace. And recently we heard that uh, he have told Queen Naomi to make her demands. That whatever she says is what he is going to do. Because he don't want a situation whereby he will send the Oloris out. Or do the things that Queen Naomi will say uh, tomorrow it will become another problem. That whatever she decides on the Oloris, that that is what Oni of Ife is going to do. That if she decides that all of them are living today, today, that they are living. If she, but before, for her to take that decision, that she must make sure that she is returning back to the palace. 
Because there are times they said only said that her biggest fear is that uh, what if she sent all these Oloris out of the palace and when Naomi refuses to come back? Because we all have known that for quite a long time now she have said that she is not returning back to the palace. But recently we heard that she visited the palace for reasons best known to her and all of that. Some said this for you know, uh, uh, rededicating her altar. Others says she came for another reason. But I think it is time for her to come back home. And that is why the Holy Spirit must have led her to go to that palace. You know? So they said only have given her that privilege to decide that whatever she decides on this ladies that that is what is going to happen and from the look of things from what we are hearing we all know that Queen Naomi is a good woman she doesn't have bad belly like all these ladies in the palace she says that she don't know if all of them are going to be there if they are going to change and become better people or if she's going to stay with some people and some of them will be relocated my people that decision to me i don't buy it i don't like it it's because she's soft-minded person she thinks about others. She's not selfish. That is why she's thinking in that direction. Because left for all these ladies, tell them to decide on Naomi's fate. They will tell Oni of Ife to go and buy the lady and dissolve the marriage with her. That is what they will decide on. But from what we are hearing, they said when Naomi has been uh, considering if she's going to stay in the palace with some of them, why some will be relocated or all of them will be there, but they have to behave themselves. And I was like, did she really know what she's thinking about or what she's doing? I don't like that idea of allowing them to stay in that palace. They were there. They were there when they caused the problem. When they, when they made, uh, they, they caused the things that leads to uh, Quenomi leaving that palace. So trying to, uh, or considering if they will stay there again, is going to be a havoc on Quenomi's side. So the best thing for, for her to do is to let if I thought she wants any one of them to stay, it, it, it can only be Dr. Elizabeth because from her actions we can understand that uh, she's not a violent person and she she holds uh, 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 she she gets Quenomi's back, yes. So if there's anyone that will stay in that palace, it should be Quenomi and Dr. Elizabeth. For all the soloists, the best thing for them is to leave the palace. When Naomi should take away this soft mind for now and take a, a, a decision that she will not regret at last, my people. That is the gist too. Hmm. They say she's considering, although she says she will sleep over it and think about it. Now, on hearing that by the Oloris, they are now running her task. Someone like Bozlet knows that uh, if she finally comes up with some of them leaving, that she must be the one, the first to leave. So my people, what do you think? What do you think about? Do you think all of them should go? Because that is what I think on my own. All of them, except Dr. Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. So that uh, there won't be stories that touches the heart tomorrow. Or she will not come back and start complaining again. Because they can never change. My people, they can never change. Anyways, that's the gist at the moment. Don't forget that they are all alleged, okay? Uh, it's not a first-hand information. And they should be treated as such. Thanks for watching. Please consider giving this video a thumbs up. And share it. My God will bless you. If you're yet to subscribe, go ahead and subscribe. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much. See you guys soon. Bye for now. Love you guys.